Hi guys, it's Patty here, and I am doing a challenge from uh, Bowers Wisco Homestead. They said, show us your herbs, and so I don't have hardly any herbs compared to them. They have um, a beautiful um, assortment of herbs on their property, and this was actually my first year ever to really kind of get into planting herbs. And then I went to the hospital and I was bragging how the deer and the rabbits out here never get into my yard, into my garden. They just stay out in the orchards or they stay by the river. Well, <laughs> they got into my parsley and they got into my thyme and cilantro. So I don't have very much left but um, Amber and Phil, I'll show you what I have. And just to let you know, you've really inspired me next year to really want to get in and plant a lot of herbs, but a lot of other garden vegetables as well, and to try to do some canning. So this year, because of my surgery, I kind of was, you know, laid up and wasn't able to um, do a whole lot, but next year I hope to. All right, so let me show you. I only have four different kinds of herbs, but I'll show you what I have. So the first herb I have here is mint, and they always say how you can't kill mint. Well, it's best to plant mint under um, a faucet or somewhere where there's a lot of um, water, but I planted it in my flower bed right next to my house because I heard that the mint also kind of um, keeps the mosquitoes away and it kind of seems like it has a little bit around the house but anyways so that is my mint not the greatest but it is the first year I just planted it this year um, and then I have some oregano here but you see these little flowers in here the flowers were in my flower bed last year and at the end of the year I actually pulled them all out and they came back so, so the seeds must have dropped in there but there is a little oregano left there and I've got two more things to show you. Hold on. I also have this lavender. Um, I consider lavender an herb. Correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not sure. And this just has been here for probably like eight or ten years and it's um, blooming right now and I've never actually used it for anything but I did get a recipe for some lavender cookies and some lavender sugar cookies. And I might try them this year. So, all right, and on to the last herb. The last herb is this giant rosemary bush that I have in the backyard. Um, and I planted it probably like three years ago. And I love to just, I love to just rub my fingers on it and then smell my fingers because they smell so good. Um, I want to actually make maybe a rosemary wreath and then a lavender wreath. Um, but I also want to take some of this into the house and dry it so that I can use it on my meats and different things, even sauces when I cook. So that is the extent of our herbs. See, we've got pomegranate trees over here. We've got lots of pomegranates. Um, but anyways, that is the extent of my herbs. And next year, I really want to get into planting a lot more herbs. So... I think herbs are one of those things that anybody can plant even if you live in an apartment complex and you have a little balcony or you have a window where there's light um, you can plant some herbs and have some fresh herbs for your cooking so any of my subscribers that have herb gardens show us your herbs and Phil and Amber this was a fun challenge I don't have a lot, but I did, I want to share what I did have with you. And you guys are so awesome. You inspire me all the time to want to work on my garden more. So, all right, you guys take care and have a great day.